your intubation and induction should be very very smooth. So, to see how the hemodynamic alters, this is the normal pressure chambers across the valve. Here you can see the right atrial pressure is around 5, the right ventricular pressure is around 20 systolic and 5 diastolic, your PA pressure is around 20 by 8 and with a mean of 12. This is the pulmonary capillary pressure or pulmonary venous pressure is around 6, your LA pressure is around 6 to 10 and your LB pressure is around 120 by 6 okay? and your cardiac output is around 6 liters per minute. So this is the mitral valve, the normal mitral valve area is around 4 centimeters square. Let us see what happens now. You have a severe mitral stenosis which is compensated, well compensated. Now what happens is because of mitral stenosis, your left ventricle filling is altered. The cardiac output which was around 6 liters, it has come to 5 liters. So what happens to LA pressure because of the stenosis, the LA pressure which was around 6 to 10, now it has increased to 25 and this 25 is reflected back on the pulmonary venous and this pulmonary venous pressure is reflected back on the pulmonary artery which is around 45 by 25 now. Although the pulmonary vascular resistance, now the pulmonary vascular disease has not developed, your RV pressure is still not very high and your RA pressure is, if TR sets in, your RA pressure will go up. This is compensated mitral stenosis. When the mitral stenosis decompensates, when the back pressure, when the heart decompensates, here you can see hardly any cardiac output. The cardiac output is almost decreased by 50 percent. Your valve orifice is almost 0.5. Your LA pressure has increased to 30, which is reflected back on the pulmonary venous system and pulmonary vascular disease accrues happen and this red color is nothing but the pulmonary vascular resistance. The pulmonary vascular resistance is going to be high and your right ventricle is bound to fail and there a right ventricle pressure becomes 